Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. I am here with the Roland FP30X. Now the predecessor to this, the FP30, which was $700, this is the FP30X, which is $750. So when they added the X to the model from FP30 to FP30X, I thought, oh, okay, they're gonna add a feature or two and charge $50 more. Not the case. Wow, you really get a lot of stuff for $50 more. The X model is really so much more that it really should be called a new model. So here's the differences between the FP30 and the FP30X. The FP30 was 128 note polyphony. This FP30X is 256 note polyphony. That's something you find on top of the line keyboards. Keyboards that cost a lot more than this. So double the polyphony is worth the $50 alone. But wait, we're not even done. We're just starting. We have Bluetooth audio and MIDI. In the last model, the FP30, it was just MIDI. This model, it's Bluetooth audio. Now don't go ahead and buy yourself a pair of Bluetooth headphones because it's just Bluetooth receive, not send. So if you have like an MP3 player or something like that, you can go ahead and broadcast to this and it will play back through its built-in amp and speakers. And one of the main complaints of the FP30 was you had like a, a headphone jack that serviced everything. You needed to get basically a, an adapter cable, a Y adapter cable, which a lot of people are turned off on, to be able to hook it up to more professional audio amplifiers for a gig or whatever. This now has left and right quarter inch TS jacks so that you can hook up your audio outputs to a more professional type of setting, whether it's a mixer or professional PAs or what have you. You also have separate headphone jacks in the front and there's two of them. One's quarter inch and one is eighth inch. So you have the best of both worlds. No matter what kind of headphones you have, it will work with these. Now the FP30 had 35 sounds. This one has 56. And wait a minute, there's more. This also has the entire General MIDI 2, GM2 sound set built in. So that is really cool. And they have a new chipset, the BNC chipset with the Supernatural sound engine. It sounds better than its predecessor. And there's two apps out that you can run on your smartphone, whether it's iOS or Android. That would be Piano Everyday and Piano Designer. And I'll get into that a little bit later in the video. And there's now a switch over here for EQ, depending on what platform you have this on, whether you have this on a stand like I have right now, this would be a gig worthy stand, or whether you have it placed on a desk, which is usually against a wall. So there is a setting for that stand or desk, and it really makes a big difference. So that's pretty cool too. And there's support for half pedaling, which is really cool. All right, so here's everything it comes with. It comes with, uh, with a cheap box-like damper pedal. It's basically an on-off switch. It'll get you by, but you'll want to use a more professional pedal, which you can get Guitar Center or any place else for probably $20, $25. And... Uh, I'm actually using the Roland DP-10. Uh, this is a little bit more expensive, but it does half damping. And it has this thing that slides out so that your foot rests here and it keeps it from sliding all over the floor. You don't know how welcome that is. It also comes with this printed user manual. And it's very, very, very useful. And it comes with a music rest. Just slips right on. 
And what's really cool is I can put sheet music on here and I can play. And with a lot of other digital pianos, that music moves around as you play. This stays still. So kudos to Roland for that. All right, so let's go through the back panel. So you have separate left and right quarter inch TS output jacks, like I mentioned before. You have your DC input jack for power. You have USB A and B ports. You have your pedal one jack, which for damper pedal, or it comes with the DP2, and like I'm using the optional DP10 pedal, which I highly recommend. Then there's a pedal two jack, which is a proprietary jack, which lets you use their triple pedal or the KPD70. And that's to be used with their optional KSC70 stand. And like I mentioned in the front, you have quarter inch and eighth inch stereo headphone jacks. And basically when you hook up a headphone to your jack, whichever one it is, it will shut off the built-in speakers. But there's a setting over here where you can turn the speakers on or off regardless of whether you have headphones plugged in or not. As for the keyboard, it feels really nice. It is the Roland PHA4 standard. It's found in this model. It's found in the 60 model, the 60X. It's ivory feel with escapement. It's really nice. And the whole thing weighs 32.6 pounds or 14.8 kilograms. All right, so let's go through the front panel over here. And basically, there's no LED display or anything like that. You don't really need it the way this is set up. You see that there's a bunch of buttons or switches here. There's the power switch. There's volume down and up. There's a function switch. This is lit up in blue right now. If I hold it down, I can pair it to my Bluetooth, either Android or iOS device, or I can hold it down and press one of the keys that correspond to whatever is written here. So you can see that there's things written here on the fall board. You just hold down the function switch and press whatever these things are marked. And you can see some of the functions over here. But to be more specific, you have input volume. You have one through eight for a whole bunch of different things. You have transpose from this key all the way to this key. So whatever key you want to transpose in, you hold down the function and you hit the key you want it to be in. Then you have twin piano on and off where you have two equal sets of pianos, 44 keys each for student and teacher, makes it ideal for teaching. You have ambience, you have brilliance, you have key touch, which is a really good one because you can set the key velocity here. If you're used to having, uh, if you play hard, you can set that here. If you play soft, you can set that here and anything in between. Then there's master tuning, USB play, and again, the speaker or stand setting for equalization. All right, so over here, you'll notice on tone, you have piano, electric piano, and other. So if I hit piano, I mean, this is, this is what we have, but if I hit piano and hold down a key, So that's how you get to the different kinds of pianos. And the same thing with electric pianos. I'll hold, I'll press electric piano. And there's a whole bunch of those. And then there's other. And the same kind of thing. Mm -hmm. 
And if I hold it down and press one of the keys here, So anyway, you have all kinds of tones here. You've got organs and strings and everything that you can pretty much think of in those 56. And you also have the entire general MIDI 2 set when you use the app with it. So speaking of the app, let's go ahead and set that up right now. I'm going to put the music stand on. And we're going to go into the Piano Designer app. And you can see that we have all these settings here. We have sound edit, we have single note tuning, single note character, and single note volume. So with sound edit, we can adjust the lid, which when you have a grand piano, you have a lid that can open and close. And you can adjust it from minus to plus four. Let's actually, let's go to the piano. string resonance then we have damper resonance key touch key off resonance master tuning temperament temperament key ambience brilliance headphones in 3d and all kinds of other stuff then you have single note tuning where you can take any note you want and go ahead and tune that exactly the way you want and then single note character, pretty much similar, but you can adjust the character of any single note and the actual volume of any of the keys. So you have quite a bit of control there. All right, the other app is Piano Every Day, and this is the one that you'll most likely be using. All right, so once we're connected with the piano, I mean, they have all these different learning apps here where you can learn and enter into contests and all that kind of stuff. But the main thing here is, here we go. Here's the different things that you can do with it. There's master tuning, and it's set for A440, 440 hertz for A, which is what we use here in the United States. Uh, the key touch we can have it, have it set for super light, light, medium, heavy, super heavy, or fixed. So I kind of like uh, medium. Uh, 
And if I choose super light, playing with the same pressure that I did. And if I choose super heavy. Okay, so you can see where I like medium. All right, the master volume you can control here, the ambiance death, the brilliance. You can transpose your keyboard here easily. And you can go to metronome, set your different metronome things here, the patterns, beat, all that kind of stuff so you can play around with it. But the main one that I like is the keyboard and tones. So here we go. This is single. You can have a split where you can choose which two tones you want to split for one on the left side, one on the right side. Then there's dual, where, which is basically a layer, and you can choose which two tones that you want to layer. And twin piano, which I already explained earlier. But let's go back to single because all the others are going to work similar this, to this. We're going to hit tone. Now, this is the different categories. We have, we have piano, electric piano, organ, strings, pad, synth, uh, other, drums, and general MIDI 2. General MIDI 2 is how you get to all those other tones that are built into here you can't do it directly from the keyboard so for piano we have concert ballad mellow bright upright mellow bright upright rock I mean, and so on and so forth so we're on concert piano right now <laughs> If I chose upright, mellow upright, bright upright, rock piano. Time Magical Harpsichord Harpsy eight plus four. So if we go back to category, that was piano. Let's try electric piano. And we got all these different kinds of electric pianos to choose from. Got a 1976 suitcase. We got a whirly. A phase electric piano mix. Eighties FM electric piano. Clavinet. Vibraphone. Celesta. Okay, let's go back to category. And then we have a whole bunch of organs. Here's a B, organ slow. Combo jazz organ. Ballad.
full stops. Even have a pipe organ. Or a church organ. Variation of that. And an accordion. And if we go back to category, we have strings, and these are the all the different strings that we have. Pads, all kinds of pads. Since here's a super saw. Trancy synth. Other. Here's a nylon string guitar. Here's a steel guitar. and symbol acoustic bass then you have a whole bunch of different drum kits I mean, you've got like a million different kinds of drum kits here. And last is the general MIDI. And you have all kinds of different categories for general MIDI or different sounds for general MIDI. This is general MIDI 2. So you have a lot of different, look at all the different pianos that you have here. Honky Tonk. Electric piano. So going on, I mean, we have all kinds of stuff. Phasers. A whole bunch of different harpsichords. Music box.
Marimba, xylophones, organs, tremolo, 60s organs. here in general MIDI too. Let me go to the sound effects because there's a lot of sound effects over here. We got rain. Depending on which note you hold, it's going to change kind of the pitch of the rain. We have thunder. We have wind. We have a stream. Again, depending on which one you hit. We have bubble. And we're bird. We have a dog. We have a horse gallop. Another bird. couple of different telephones. Creaking door. A door. A scratch. Wind chimes. A helicopter. Car engine. Car stop. Car pass. Car crash. Even have a siren. A train. A jet plane. That's pretty cool. A starship. Laughing. <laughs> Screaming. Punch. A heartbeat. Okay, I didn't go through the metronome because that should be pretty obvious, but you also have a recorder over here. It's a one button recorder. We'll stop that. We'll play it back. So you can play along with it. And it's a great way to learn where you record like your left hand first and then you play it back and then play your right hand along with it. Great way of learning. But it's also a great way of doing what I just did. Come up with a little bit of an idea and then add to it. And there is just so much there. It's it's really cool. You get a lot for $750. I would highly recommend this because compared to the FP30, its predecessor, which was $700, this is $750. You get so much more. It's unbelievable. It's almost like a whole new piano. And this key bed, which pretty much is the same as what you had in its predecessor, the PHA4, but with escapement and ivory feel, really recommended. So overall, I highly recommend this. This is really something. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.